Okay, so now we, we paused a little bit and found some extra, mar extra markers. So now, now we're back to the problem we were, we were looking at before. And we're trying to figure out what we might do to find the area here. Hmm. Your circle idea was a really nice one, but um, it turned out it wasn't quite a circle. So, what else could we do? Well, we could try to approximate the area. Okay, how? Through, like, so we could start, like, if we go on one half. It's not a great one. Here's the pink one. We go along a half, and we go up. And we sort of draw this rectangle. That's an approximation of the area, and then we can make that approximation better by splitting it into a fourth, of course, and sort of making these rectangles. Yeah, what gave you this idea? Um, I think we, I think I've seen this sort of thing before. Okay. I was also thinking of like, no, actually, also you could try to do it like this, but just using vertical rectangles seems like the best way. And then if we keep doing this, we can sort of get an approximation for the area. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Because we know some of these lengths. Okay, what do we know here? Like, for example, in this picture, could we calculate what this approximation was? Yeah, so since each of these lengths, this is, these are all a fourth. We know since this point is a fourth here, the point up here is going to be a fourth, a sixteenth. Okay. So this length is going to be one sixteenth. So we know that this approximation is one over one over 64. Alright, nice. Area. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll write those over here. So the area... Oh, jeez. Alright. Alright. New markers. Area equals 1 64th plus... Actually, what was the first rectangle even before you got 1 64th? It was just... This it was a half. Well, that's the next rectangle I'm yeah. going this way. What if you went the other way? What about oh. there? Well, was there a rectangle there? Oh, it was zero. Yeah, it was zero. Okay, so zero, area is zero, plus one sixty fourth. Um, so then this is a fourth. This point here is a half, so we're going up to a fourth. So this, is, this point is a half a fourth, so this would actually be a square. This would be 1 16th. Nice. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna call that just for to get a common denominator. Maybe I'll call that how many 64s? Four 64s. Four 64s. Okay, cool. And this point, 3 fourths goes up to 9 16th. This is a fourth times 9 16th, so 9 64s. So this we can add up pretty easily. 5 plus 9 is... So it's going to be 14 64s. Okay. So this is an interesting approximation as well. Is this too high or too low? This is going to be too low because we're excluding these parts. Okay. And it's always going to be too low. It's always going to be too low. Okay, cool. Uh, is there any way we could find an approximation that was too high? Well, if we, if we instead use rectangles, if we use this rectangle, this rectangle, this rectangle, or this rectangle, the way went all the way up, so all right. this rectangle. Can you see quickly what the area of the two high rectangles is going to be? These two? 
Well, no, all, all of them, all four of them together. This rectangle plus this rectangle plus this rectangle plus that rectangle. Can you see what that area is going to be? Well, let's see. We could. So, we can do, it just moves the, the length over. So, and this is going to be 1 16th. This is going to be one fourth. This is going to be nine sixteenths. Okay. And this is going to be one. Alright, good. So this is a fourth. Okay, so our new one is a fourth plus so, uh, nine sixteenths times a fourth, so it's going to be nine sixty fourths. So it's going to be a half, or no, 16th. Okay. So 4 64th. Yeah. And then 1 64th. Yeah, so we actually. It just moves, shifts over. Shifts over. So we have our same 14 64th plus 16 64th, which is 30 64th. Now, is that too high or too low? Um, That's too high. Okay. So, what from these two approximations, can you find one that you think is a, might actually be a pretty good one? So the area that we're excluding and this area that's too high actually seem like they're kind of close together. All right. So maybe since these are 16s apart, so you go up 8 64, so maybe 22 64. Yeah. 22 64. Might be a good approximation. Yeah. Nice. OK, well, now I'm going to show you how we can extend this all the way, making the rectangles as small as we want. Okay. All right, let's do that now.